Good afternoon. I'm Mark Acosta. I'm one of the assistant Metro editors here at the Press Enterprise and at PE.com. And we're here to talk about uh, the latest going on, goings on in Moreno Valley. And we have with us here two guests today. We have uh, Cassie McDuff, one of our uh, columnists. Cassie, thank you for taking time out of your schedule to be here in the studio with us. And we have Suzanne Hurt, who's our Moreno Valley reporter. Suzanne, thank you for coming in. And we're going to talk a little bit about uh, two issues that have been going on uh, in the last couple of days percolating in Moreno Valley. Um, Cassie, I'm going to go to you first to talk uh, about this uh, document retention policy that I understand the council is going to be looking at tonight. So tell us what that's about. That's right. Yeah, um, this is on a consent calendar agenda, which means it would not have been discussed. It would have just been voted on as a routine matter. But some people noticed it and brought it to the attention of uh, the public. And it caused quite a bit of controversy because, for particularly for two reasons. One, because it would uh, allow emails to be destroyed immediately, which means a lot of public uh, communication among council members and staff would be, uh, could be destroyed. And also because audio recordings and video recordings of the um, city council meetings, which have been retained for six years up until now, could be destroyed after 30 days or rather audio tapes could be destroyed after 30 days and videotapes after 90 days. Interesting. And um, Suzanne, so uh, yesterday we, we had a busy day with uh, you were writing about a lawsuit. So that's the second issue we're going to talk about. So tell us about the lawsuit. Give us kind of an overview uh, who is suing and what that's all about. Sure. Well, um, you're right. A lawsuit was filed yesterday on behalf of three former city managers. Um, uh, former code compliance manager Albert Brady, a former deputy city attorney Paul Early, and a former um, building official Ann Schneider. And they are alleging that um, they've been retaliated against for whistleblowing that led to the loss of their jobs, um, breach of contract, infliction of emotional distress. They're also alleging invasion of piracy, defamation of character, and a number of other charges. And um, the lawsuit is alleging that there was um, special treatment basically given to public officials, developers, and others, and um, it is tied to a code violation um, case involving Marcelo Co. These three um, city managers, former city um, managers, say that they were retaliated against for their parts in prosecuting um, Marcelo Co.'s uh, code violations. And, and for those who might not be familiar, can you refresh their memory of who Marcelo Co. is? Yes, um, Marcelo Co. Uh, was a city council member until he was arrested and resigned in August. Okay. Uh, so, Cassie, let's turn back to you briefly. Um, uh, talk about the timing of this policy coming to the council. That has been a, something that many people have been uh, asking about and, and questioning, quite honestly, right? Well, that's why people were so upset, because they felt that here the city is under investigation by federal authorities. Uh, now there's this lawsuit uh, and uh, the appointment of a city council member to replace Marcelo Co. very controversially took place, uh, some people say in violation of the Brown Act. People were upset that all the records related to those things could be destroyed, including Marcelo Co.'s code enforcement uh, violation records. Uh, the city clerk told me this is just a routine uh, update of the city policies. They'd hired a consultant some 18 months ago, and that right. consultant had been working on uh, the policies to make sure they comply with state law. So she said it's uh, simply a routine matter. Now, were city officials, what was their, what was their take on, on the controversy that's erupted? Well, city officials were not returning phone calls yesterday apart from the city clerk. I did talk to Councilman Richard Stewart today. And um, he was concerned that this uh, record retention matter should get a full discussion. He intends to ask that it be pulled off of the consent calendar tonight and be um, assigned to a special uh, session, a study session, where it can be discussed in depth as to the reasons and to go over point by point what, it, what the changes are. Right. Now, Cassie mentioned, uh, Suzanne, this investigation, the federal investigation that's going on. You've been writing a lot about it. Um, are there any similarities, or how does this, this lawsuit now fit in with the bigger picture of the investigation, or are there similarities between the two topics? Good question, good question. Um, some of the things that were, some of the issues that were raised in this lawsuit were um, subjects of a federal subpoena, and we believe may be tied to this federal investigation, um, such as allegations of preferential treatment of developers, including Ido Benzivi, um, mm -hmm. in particular, um, 
what, there was one example, I guess, what, what kinds of um, development should happen near a proposed World Logistics Center? I see. Um, so tonight, uh, let's talk a little bit about what happens next. So you're going to the council meeting tonight. Yes, I'll be going to this council meeting and we'll find out whether this um, new resolution on record keeping schedules is passed or whether um, Stuart succeeds in getting this pulled off the agenda and um, discussed at a different meeting. And what are you expecting tonight? A, a lot of people or? Yes, actually, um, there's already been uh, a lot of commenting on our website and I'm definitely expecting that people who regularly attend city council meetings are gonna be commenting on it tonight at the city council meeting. Okay, so we'll see how that how that all goes tonight. Anything else to add, Cassie, from your your perspective? No, I think we've got it covered. Okay, so stay tuned uh, on PE.com tonight and uh, in the Press Enterprise on uh, Wednesday morning, of course. We'll have the, the latest on this story and uh, many others as things continue unfolding with the investigation and other issues in Moreno Valley. So uh, thanks for watching, Cassie and Suzanne. Thanks for joining us, and uh, we'll see you guys uh, here next time. Thank you.